Are you soon visiting Cyprus or Greece and you want to order the perfect portion of pizza with souvlaki? Then this guide is just for you. Let's get one thing out of the way. In most places in Greece and Cyprus, souvlaki means skewers of sliced pork. Certainly you will find souvlaki of chicken, but it is very rare that you will find lamb or beef souvlaki. So if you are keeping halal or kosher, then do your research before you eat somewhere. With this piece of information out of the way, let me help you become the ultimate souvlaki foodie. Let's start with the basics. The most common bread offered with souvlaki in Greece and in Cyprus are of course pites. In Cyprus, most souvlagias don't offer Greek pita and in Greece, most souvlakeries don't offer Cypriot pita, so have that in mind. There are a lot of differences between the Greek and Cypriot pites other than the shape. One, Greek pites can hold way less ingredients than a Cypriot pita. Usually the average pita can hold one skewer, maybe two of souvlaki, whereas the Cypriot pita, I actually saw even five to six skewers. Greek pites usually get a generous brush of olive oil before they are put into an oily griddle. This makes the souvlaki feel a bit more vromico, junk food, but it's exactly what you need sometimes. Also, by default, Greek pites are more likely to include fries than Cypriot pites, which increases their caloric value. If you are watching your figure, then you have to ask a Greek pita without fries. The Greek pita is technically an open-faced wrap, whereas the Cypriot pita is a pocket. The Greek pita is more budget-friendly than its Cypriot counterpart. I recently ordered from a souvlidges in Nicosia that offers both options, and the Greek pita was around 5 euro, whereas the regular Cypriot pita was around 8. I did a very quick research on the internet and I found out that in Greece they usually cost less than 4 euro. But there is a caveat. I, and many other Cypriots for a fact, consider the Greek pita as half a meal and usually eat two in order to get full, but I bet you already knew that about me. So, one Greek pita might be enough for your appetite and also be good for your wallet if you order and Greek pita souvlaki me apola in Cyprus, then you will get a pita with tzatziki, tomato, onion, meat, and fries. But this is not the same elsewhere in the Greek-speaking world. In Athens, in order to get the exact same thing, you need to order a tilikto me kalamaki or a pita me kalamaki. Tilikto means Wrap, of course. Kalamagi in Athens means a skewer of souvlaki, but in the rest of the Greek-speaking world, it means a straw or rather a drinking straw, the one you add in your Fredo Espresso. Athenians, cut the nonsense and join the rest of us. It's just souvlaki, not kalamaki. Be careful, though, because if you order sandwich souvlaki apola in Thessaloniki, then you will get a pita with mustard, ketchup, onion, fries, and meat. Greeks from Thessaloniki. Are you guys okay? You are ordering souvlaki, not a hot dog. So why the hell do you put ketchup and mustard in your pizzas? Come on, that's inexcusable. Be precise in your order to avoid disappointment. In Cyprus too, there is a strong sense of provincialism or regionalism. If you order mia souvlaki, short for mia mbita souvlaki, you will usually get souvlaki in a pita with tomato, cucumber, cabbage, onion, lemon, and sometimes it might also include parsley. In Nicosia, most souvlijias will add a quarter of an onion and half a lemon in the pita so that you can add as much as you want. But in the other districts of Cyprus, you might find that the lemon is already squeezed and the onion is pre-cut. Isn't that quite interesting? Furthermore, if you are ordering a pita with souvlaki in Cyprus, you need to specify if you want any spreads and or fries. And you might get charged extra for it. In Cyprus, you will have more options than getting the regular pita with souvlaki. The first one is a pita with just sheftalia. What are these, you ask? A sheftali is a small, flat Cypriot sausage or meatball encased in coal or, as otherwise known, 
lays fat or in the Cypriot Greek panna. It is the fat surrounding the stomach lining of various animals, but in Sheftalia we usually use pork and lamb panna. A sheftali is made of ground pork, onion, parsley, cinnamon, cumin, and sometimes grated potato or soaked breadcrumbs. Two sheftalia from two different souvlijiers might be entirely different in texture, aroma, and flavor profile. So you might actually dislike the sheftali in one souvlijis, but really, really enjoy another one. Give it a try. You have nothing to lose. You are on holiday for crying out loud. 87% of you aren't subscribed to this channel. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and help us reduce it to under 50%. You can do it. Let's go back to the pitas. Another pita that you can order from the souvlijis is the combo pita, or as we Cyprios call it, a mix, which has both souvlaja and sheftaja. Let's talk about souvlaja and portion size. When ordering souvlaja in Cyprus, you need to know how hungry you feel and what meat to pita ratio you prefer. Because in Cyprus, you can get the megali or big or enishimeni reinforced or fortified pita, which cost more than the regular. The enishimeni pita usually costs one to two euro more than the regular, and it has inside one or two skewers more than the regular. In the mix enishimeni, they will add another skewer of meat or one to two extra sheftalia. And the sheftalia enishimeni will have two to three more sheftalia than the regular. If you order an enishimeni in Paphos, where pites are actually bigger than the regular Cypriot pites, then you will get definitely full. Vegetarian foodies, I haven't forgotten about you. If you find yourself in a taverna or at the souvlijis, don't despair. You can order mia halloumi steam pita or pita with halloumi. Vegan foodies, you too have options at the taverna or the souvlijis. You can order mushroom in a pita, manitari steam pita. Now you know the various proteins in pitas. Now I will tell you all about the various spreads you can order. There is, of course, Zanziki, or how we Cypriots call it, Talaturi, which I covered extensively in other videos. Go check them out. Then we have Tirokafteri, which is a spicy cheese spread, which I think absolutely slaps. You should order it. You can observe the phenomenon of the deeply rooted Cypriot provincialism when you hear the order of the spread in pita in various districts. Here in Nicosia, most people will order their pita either with yogurt or with even nothing. In Larnagan district, a lot of Cypriots order the absolutely horrendous and inedible souvlaki with tahini, or in the Cypriot dialect, tashi. Tashi, of course, is a sesame paste. Or if you are breaking pita with elemeshanos, they most likely will order the spread which I consider the biggest anathema to Cypriot and Greek culinary standards, yeah. utterly detestable and visually unappetizing pikalili, or how we call it, pikla. Yellow does not look good on souvlaki. Come on, Limasolians, you're breaking my heart. But if you don't like zanziki, yogurt, tirokafteri, pikla tashi, there are plenty of other choices. Some honorable mentions include the paprika spread, which is kind of self-explanatory, the sauce, or as otherwise known as mayo ketchup, melinzano salada, which is an aubergine salad, almost like baba ganoush, and of course hummus. But all these are more rare. As for me, I love a Cypriot and Ischimeni pita souvlaki. Sometimes I get it with fries, but I almost never get it with salad. Usually, I like emptying my pita's contents on a plate and squeezing the lemon on the pita, which creates a bread goo. Which is half the reason to eat souvlaki in the first place. And it's not just me who thinks so. Bread goo is an underutilized thing in food. But isn't the best part? The pita goo perfectly balances the richness of the souvlaki and the crispy exterior of the pita. Moreover, when I order souvlaki, I don't ask for any spreads, 
because usually souvlijis have this very sour sheep's yogurt, which I don't like, and their tzatziki often is not very good. So I prefer to make my own tzatziki or have my personal favorite Zita Super Strain or Zita Super Strain Gisto, which is the best yogurt you can have with your souvlaki. Hashtag not a nut, just a fan. Who knew that ordering souvlaki could be so complicated? And there you have it. Now you know exactly how and what to order if you find yourself at the souvlijis or a taverna in Greece or Cyprus. What kind of souvlaki you think you're gonna enjoy? What kind of spread you think you're gonna order? Let me know down in the comments. If you are a foodie and you enjoy watching content on Greek and Cypriot food, then you should definitely enjoy watching my taste test slash reaction video to Adam Ragusia's Slopigiros. Until the next time. Bye!